Now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? It is your girl, your diva in knowledge, Lady Mocha, representing Mocha's Cafe de Paris. Well, I'm always serving you wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual awareness from a system of intellect's personal interview. Nevertheless, y'all, I thought it was imperative that I drop today's recipe on the menu. Wanted to talk about why the baby daddy ain't shit, yet she chose him. Excuse my French, but you know, this is my ratchet co-ed channel. <laughs> Nevertheless, y'all, how often do we hear women complain? My baby daddy is trash. My baby daddy is a deadbeat. My baby daddy is a loser. My baby daddy is a sorry ASS ninja. We have heard it all the time. And this is unfortunately... Um, Women who realize they have made a poor decision, but nevertheless, lacking accountability, not owning it, they're never going to say, well, I should have never chose this ninja. I never should have had a child from this ninja. You know, they're not going to say that, you know. They're, they're not going to say, you know, I knew better. I knew this ninja was a bum. I knew he already had multiple baby mamas. I know he didn't like to work. I knew the only thing that was good about him was his dick, but nothing else behind it. But nevertheless, you know, he's a deadbeat. You know, uh, they're, they're going to always put the fault on the baby daddy. They're going to say he's a deadbeat. He's a loser. He's trash. He's not a good father. He's not a good dad. But she, yet she's not going to say I had no business choosing him. Out of all the options, this is the option that I chose. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's get a popping right. So, what, what, when does, when, when do these, you know, the, these new breed females, what makes them finally come to this conclusion? When they realize their baby daddy is not sugar honey iced tea. When they realize they made a bad choice. When they realize they completely ruined themselves by choosing this man. What, what makes them get to that place? In which they finally have come to that conclusion. Well, it's several factors that's involved. You know, also get ready to hit the like button. Because y'all know over here, you know, I, I'm ratchet. But I'm going to tell the real deal. You feel me? You know, I'm not going to cut no corners, you know, in this content. I'm going to keep it a book. You know, if it doesn't apply, you ain't got to reply. You know what I mean? You know, you don't have to um, feel offended or get defensive if you feel I'm stepping on your toes, you know. Nevertheless, you know, like they say, nasty medicine is nasty, but it's good for you, you know. So you can take the message and utilize it in, in a sense of being able to better yourself or you can utilize the message to continue to make you better. It all depends on, you know, how you, you, how you choose to utilize the message, right? But there's different factors in which a woman, a, a, a female, comes to the terms in which she finally realizes her baby daddy ain't ish. Okay? And I'm going to break down all of those factors. The first thing is when, you know, she realizes the trap baby she created didn't really trap him. You know, um, women play this game all the time. And you would think by now... Being that we're in 2024, we've seen women pull a stunt for years. And we have seen women fail terribly at thinking that a baby is going to secure the man. That a baby is instantly going to get this man to marry you, wife you. Yet, as many times as we have witnessed how this never really, in, in most cases, work out for women... Yet, they still do it because you have a lot of females that feel like they are the ones that are going to be the exception to the rule. You know, it, it never, never fails, you know. Um, dude could be having a track record. They has multiple children and never married any of the baby mamas. And yet, for whatever, for some strange reason, she feels that she's going to be the one to change them. 
She's going to be the one to break the mold. Let's not front like we don't know nobody who's done this. You know, to all my real sisters, you know you got that homegirl. You got that sister, that female cousin. You know, we, let's not act like we don't know women who do this. What, what disturbs my spirit more than anything is when we have women that are not willing to admit that women pull a stunt. And you and I, we know this. We get offended when men bring this topic up when men address it but y'all know and i know we, we, women we know there's women who be doing this let's not act like this is not oh uh, why men are always picking on us black women why are they always gunning for us we all know women who do it and if you're not willing to admit it it's probably because you're doing it yourself but the trap baby it's the it's the trap method in which they realize god dog i went nine months carrying this man's baby thinking that once this baby got here and he saw how beautiful this baby was you know um and, and seeing that this baby looks just like him that's just it's just going to give him a change of heart when since did a thug have a change of heart since when a dude with multiple baby mamas had a change of heart i mean it's common sense look at the ninja's track record he and I have multiple children for multiple women. Not one he could say was his ex-wife. Not one he could say he was married to. Not even one he could say he was in a relationship with. But yet you think you're going to be the one that's going to conquer him. Um, and when these women, you know, fem these new breed females who think like this, these modernized women who think like this, these are the ones who realize that the trap baby did not trap the man. So therefore now he's a deadbeat. He's a loser. He's, um, you know, uh, 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 a male incel and things and all of this negative stuff all of a sudden. When in fact you knew the signs were there. You met this man. You knew he never been married to none of his baby mamas. Yet you trusted to leave your womb open to him you you chose to one thing if you know you you linking up with him okay i mean i'm not all for that but if you just really got to get laid the least you could have did was protect yourself and not got knocked up from this dude why would you put yourself in a position in which your child has to be number seven and number eight in line do you not realize that when a man has multiple children with multiple women that your child is just going to be another number in the bunch. I mean, do you not want your child? I, I one would think that you would want your child to be blessed. You would want your child to, to have the blessings of having a, a, a father that does not have excessive baggage. That way, your child could get the majority of the attention. Your child could get the majority of the income. Your child can basically have that stable man in his life. Not having to compete with multiple siblings who have their own mamas. You know, let's face it. These guys cannot be all in one place at one time. You know, we look at Nick Cannon. Only difference is Nick Cannon is a millionaire. That's true. We know none of the baby mamas got to worry about where their next dollar going to come from. But let's just be honest. Nick Cannon cannot be with all these women all at one time. And even if that were the case, somebody is going to get in their feelings. You know what I mean? You can't have all these baby mamas get together and y'all all meet up. All y'all bring y'all kids to the playground and he meets up with all of you all at one time. Somebody most indefinitely is going to be in their feelings. One of the baby mamas is going to be drama. One of the baby mamas is, is, is going to be difficult. It's just very rare that you can have a bunch of women all come together and be civil, especially when they all got the same baby daddy and they all got feelings and they all have some type of attachment to the penis. It's very rare you're going to have women that's going to be civil and going to put all their personal issues and, and feelings aside for the sake of the kids. That's just not going to happen, especially when it's black women. Or I, I'm just going to be frank. I'm not trying to put down my sisters, but we all can't even sit in the same room without talking about each other or looking at each other. Ooh, she thinks she all of that with them fake red bottoms on. Ooh, she thinks she back, she all of that with that lace, that lace front wig that keeps sliding back, that convertible wig, that drop top, you know. Uh, women, we just not built to get along for a long period of time, especially when it comes to the same man with the 
disadvantage that we all have the same penis. Somebody going to be in their feelings. Somebody going to say something. Get out of pocket. You know, that's just the way it is. We are not built to get along very well for a long amount of time. So, um, even if that was the case, it's just not going to work. Um, this is where the my baby daddy ain't sugar honey iced tea because I tried to trap him with the baby and the baby did not trap him. You know, he put my baby right in the bunch with the rest of the eight, nine kids he had. My child is not getting no more attention than the six, seven he had before we decided to have my child together, right? So that's one reason. The second reason is when they basically realize um, they cannot conquer this man and having a relationship. It's there, there are a lot of women that are very angry with their baby daddy because they had their heart set on the future. They had their heart set on, okay, one day he's going to marry me. He's going to commit to me. Only to find out, here it is, little Jojo is going on three years old and he st still has yet to commit to you. Most of the time, women have, we, we see the red flags, you know. Um, we just think, it's for whatever reason, like I mentioned earlier, that we're going to be the ones to, 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 to uh, convince him that we are more worthier, you know what I mean, um, compared to the other women. Uh, even if he told you with his words that, um, I do want a relationship one day. I do want to be married. I would like to have a wife one day. You have to understand the language of men. A man can sit up there and tell you one day he would like to get married. One day he would like to commit. He does see himself walking down the aisle. And, and, and it could very well be. But it doesn't mean that it's you. You know, I, I've learned that the hard way. I've been in relationships before I got married. I had guys who told me, yeah, one day, you know, I do want to build a family. Only to find out I was not the woman he wanted to build that family with. I've had guys tell me, well, you know, one day I can see myself settling down with, you know, a, a, a good woman and having things to be in the future with her. And only to find out I was not the woman he wanted to settle down with and build a future with, okay? um, So, you have to be able to read in between the lines. If he's specifically not saying you... I can see myself with you. I can see us building and having something. Don't just go by his words. If he's not doing anything to implement those actions, to back it up and see that it happens. In other words, he keeps selling you these dreams. I want to get married. I want to have a family. Yet, uh, he's moving slow as molasses. He is not trying to commit. He did not come up with an engagement date, a wedding date. He's not telling you, okay, go ahead and start planning for the wedding. He's not giving you that green light. It's that same hope of eventually it's going to happen. Never go by what a man says. Go by what he does. One thing about men, when men really got their mind made up, that's what makes men differ from women. When a man is ready to settle down, when he finds that queen, he finds that woman he really wants, he's not going to let her go. He's not going to pass up on the opportunity, especially if he has had his share of hood rats, you know, possums, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, these other low breed caliber of women, you know, He's definitely not going to pass up on a good woman when he knows it's a very slim chance. Because let me tell you something. Good women are hard to come by these days. We are limited edition. You get what I'm saying? Women who have their stuff in order. Women who don't have multiple kids for multiple men. Or women, if she does have multiple children, it was all from one relationship. From a man that she was married to. Maybe he passed or he died. You know, he went... And the military lost his line during combat. Let's face it, all women are not single mothers because they're just irresponsible. Something happened. Maybe she was married at one point in time. Nevertheless, all situations vary, okay? But one thing about a man, he knows a quality woman when he sees one. So it should not take him 10, 15 years to marry, commit. By the time he, figure, he figures out, okay, you're the one for him. Uh, no, it does not work that way. By nature, men are conquerors. By nature, men are go-getters. So if they see something they want and they know it's of quality, they keep their eyes on the prize. They're not going to pass it up. They're not going to stall you for no three, four to five years. So if a man is sitting up here telling you, I can see myself 
building with you. He could see it all goddamn day, sis. But until he actually does it, it does not mean anything. Um, also, the next thing is when women realize they cannot control the man. That makes him an ain't, ain't ish baby daddy. The fact that she cannot manipulate him. She cannot have her way. You know, let's face it. You just have some women out here that are very, very bossy. Very aggressive. And they think because... Um, they, 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 they use the weapon between their legs that is automatically going to gain some type of power or leverage, whatever she specializes in, whether if it's giving head, whether if it's spending money, you know, you got some women out here that will do some conniving shady things to make a man feel comfortable with her to where he'll bring his guard down. And the whole time what she's doing is she's slowly but surely baiting him. To where he will, you know, be convinced, okay, this is a good woman. She's spending money on me, you know. She she gives me sex anytime I want it. She cooks good meals and all this and that. All of this is just bait. And then once she has locked him in, got him to marry her, commit to her, you know. She done put up this front that I'm a submissive woman. I'm humble. I will do whatever it is you need me to do. I will stay in my place as a woman. I will respect your leadership qualities as a man. Then once a man ties himself into her, thinking that that is the real package, she finds out later on that is false advertisement. She did all of that to just will him in. Now that they're together, she's not half as submissive. She wants to debate. She wants to argue. She's overly aggressive. You know, she talking slick and slide out the mouth. This was not the same woman who acted so humble and kind before y'all got married or before y'all made plans to be together. Um, you know, she used to cook, used to clean. She's not cooking or cleaning anymore. You got to, you know, uh, basically walk through her living room. It's like playing hopscotch. She has pow piles and mountains of clothes. You know, just none of what she presented herself to be. And when a man finds this out and realizes, you know, um, I've been bamboozled. Um, this is not the woman that I have signed up to be with. And he checks out mentally, which eventually means he's going to leave physically. Um, and children are involved. She's going to consider him a deadbeat. When in actuality, uh, he flaked out and bailed out because he realized that you were not who you presented yourself to be. You know, you acted like you was one way. And once you sealed the deal and you got him under your clutches... Now, you know, you don't you you don't feel like you have to do what it took to get him. You don't feel like you got to do that to keep him. You get what I'm saying? So now these are the same women who would turn around and say, my baby daddy ain't ish. Um, another thing is that you have um, women who get upset when another man does not want to help them with their baggage. Truth of the matter is we all go through life making choices. You know, we choose what schools we go to. We choose what neighborhoods we want to live in. We have the ultimate decision to decide what we want. And the problem is when we make bad decisions as women, we have multiple children from multiple ancient dudes, okay? Men who have failed us, men who keep going back and forth um, to jail, in and out of the, you know, correctional institutions, um, picking men who don't like to work, who aren't ambitious, who do not take um, being a father, they don't take the role of being a father seriously. Um, when you choose these type of men, unfortunately, it becomes a burden having to do it all alone. And this is what happens when you have young women who make grown women decisions with a little girl mindset. This is what happens when you pick a man because he's cute. He's light-skinned. Look like he got some money because he, he knows how to dress up nicely. You, It's a lot of dudes out here that's well-dressed. That don't mean he's responsible or he has a job or he's making bank like that. You got some dudes that just like to be pretty boy, unemployed Floyds that like to look good and dress the part but do not like to work. Believe it or not, you got some men who hate working. They're not embarrassed. They have no shame. Uh, they don't feel less of a man not working and not providing. You got some men that have feminine um, attributes in which, you know, they want to sit around and look just as pretty as the women that they are with, right? So, um, you have a lot of young women. When you don't give yourself time to mature as a woman, meaning you haven't been out there long enough to gain enough experience to where you can decipher and distinguish a real man from a boy. Um, when you're 
selecting the baby daddy of your children. When you're at the age of 12, 13, this is when you make the decision to become a mother. You're not even 17 years old yet. You're not uh, fully emotionally developed. So therefore, you're not going to make the best or the, the most adequate, the best adequate choices when it comes to choosing a qualified man as, 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 a, as a qualified father who has the skills and abilities of being a good father for your children. Why? Because nine times out of ten, when you're young, you're picking and choosing a baby daddy that's young. Okay, who still does not know who he is, who has still not fully transitioned into manhood. So, therefore, um, when you are young and you don't understand this, nine times out of ten, you will continue to repeat this. These are the young women that's not even 23 years old yet, and you're wondering why she has five, six kids and she's not even in her 30s. That's because she started choosing the father of her children when she was only 13, 14, 15 years old. And what she thought was, okay, all right, I got pregnant from the first one. It didn't work out. Um, when I get in the next guy, I'm going to make sure I get pregnant by him. Basically, in that mindset, when you still are in little girl mode, you think that anytime you meet a man you like, you automatically got to get pregnant to lock him in and trap him in because you don't have enough confidence to be able to secure a man just by being you. Just by being a good woman, a solid woman. You feel like the only way you can keep a man stable in your life is to get pregnant by him only to discover that um a baby is not going to secure him if he realizes you're too much and he's not man enough or, or does not have um the maturity to be able to deal with your mindset the way it is he can still dismiss you and walk out of that relationship rather if children are involved or not Babies have never kept a man, and it's unfortunate that a lot of these young, new breed, modernized females, they really think they could still keep a man in their clutches because they have a child from them. So, when they go back to back repeatedly, which is called stupidity, doing the same thing and expecting different results, instead of becoming angry with themselves, they become angry with all the men who they chose to make their baby daddies, and that's what I... All men ain't shit, you know, attitude comes from. Because, again, you have not figured out the same hood rat shenanigans that you have been pulling since you've been 13, 14, 15 years old. And here it is, you're in your middle 30s or slowly approaching your early 40s. It still has not registered that having children is not going to secure a man. What's going to secure a man is a woman who handles her business, who's not going to put herself in a position to where she has to make him think she cannot make it without him, that she cannot survive without him. Truth of the matter is, as much as men complain about women, you know, uh, we too full ourselves because we're independent, you know, where we, um, you know, um, we're, we're too uppity and high maintenance, but at the end of the day, if a man had to pick and choose, he will have more respect for a woman who's high maintenance and, and very particular about who she allows herself to get pregnant from compared to a woman who he sees with a track record of having kids from every dude that she meets. In the end, he may not, you know, want to deal with the attitude of the independent woman, but if you had to pick and choose, he will deal with that before he deal with the female that has multiple children for multiple men. What a lot of women don't understand is this day and age, men are not really coming after women who got children too much. Back in the day, maybe the 70s or 80s, our mothers got away with that. You know, we had a lot of dudes who didn't mind being stepdaddy. Dude, who didn't mind being uncles? You know, back then, the mindset of men was a little different back then. Men did not shun women who had children. Back then, men kind of embraced it to a certain degree. I ain't saying all men have, but compared to now, men did not mind taking on that role of being the stepfather. In this day and age, you're not going to get too many Russell Wilsons. You're not going to get too many men that are going to take on that responsibility of the last man's responsibility because to them it becomes a liability because at the end of the day um if things don't work out they have attached themselves to the to to your children you can take your kids with you um they have spent money on those children you can take your children with you um and unfortunately 
it's very rarely children are taught to be grateful for adults who play a part in their lives, for men who are taking on the roles that their own biological fathers don't. Unfortunately, this is the generation in which children are taught to be entitled. Like, if you want my mama, you got to take care of me. It's this sense of entitlement in which a lot of men have come to realize, hey, I can put a lot into this woman's kids. I can put all my time, energy, and effort, and at the end of the day, she can walk away and take her child with her. This child can turn on me and say, I ain't shit because they feel like they mama say I ain't shit. You get what I'm saying? So you have a lot of men that are very skeptical. Um, not only that, you know, especially a man who does not have children himself, especially a man who has been very particular about his choices in life, a man who does not have children from no one himself that's always played it safe very rarely is he going to be a russell wilson and take the initiative of taking on another man's responsibilities as if it is his own as if it were his own now this is not to say this completely rules these type of men now there are some men that don't mind you know picking up where the last man left off but that's rare okay for the most part, now that all these content creators or red pill principalities is being pushed that you don't need to be with a woman who has X, X amount of responsibilities, you know, you have to realize now a lot of these dudes are being fresh and fit taught. A lot of them have been given, a, you know, a, 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 a red pill, you know, um, um, philosophies as to not you know, investing into women that uh, already have a lot of baggage. You feel me? So, um, do I knock them for it? I can't knock them for it. But at the same time, we have to understand that just like women, there's a new breed of women. There's also a new breed of men. There's not too many men that want to take on our role and be stepdaddy. They don't want to be the step up the stepdaddy, you know. So, hats off to those who choose to do that. But I understand those who choose not to. It is a lot. Just like I understand women who don't want to get involved with men who have multiple baby mamas. It's a lot of drama. It's chaotic. So, I understand man or woman who does not want to get involved with people who have children, especially if they don't have children of their own. But there's always somebody that's out there willing to step daddy, willing to step mama. It is what it is, right? So when you have women that go on this bitter hating men campaign uh, about why they baby daddy ain't, ain't a real man, he's not a real father, um, that's just a form of deflecting. Because she does not want to admit she should have never even chose him. She knew what he was. She knew he didn't like to work. She knew he was always out in and out of jail. She knew that um, he did not have any goals. He lacks ambition. You can tell a whole lot about a man just based on how he carries himself. If he still lives with his mama. He's still sleeping on his sister's sofa. You know, he has women in his family enabling him. Okay, he's staying with Aunt Rita. He's staying with his sister Kiki. He's staying with his mama, Miss Betty. He's staying with his grandmother, Miss Evelyn. I mean, anytime you have a man that's comfortable living off other women, he doesn't feel less than a man. It doesn't bother his ego. He's not embarrassed to sit up there and tell you as a woman, nah, I ain't got my own place. You know, I'm staying with my aunt. I'm staying with my aunt right now. You know, I was staying with my mama last week, but you know, my mama, you know, uh, being there, she wasn't able to pay the rent because, you know, she, she back in the hospital for a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to crash over here to stay with my aunt. You feel me? But, you know, shorty, I'm working on some things. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm out there, you know, hustling, you know, trying to make it happen. But, you know, the white man keep putting the brother down. You know what I'm saying? You know, every time I go and apply for these jobs, they go do a background on my record and see, you know, I've been locked up for drugs and battery and domestic violence and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? They won't give a brother a break, you know. He has all these excuses about how society is limiting him, you know, from being able to, to man up and do more for himself. You know, just sells, tell you anything. So you can feel sorry and have empathy. These are the men a lot of these women are trusting. Y'all trust these men because they, they they know how to put that good wood on you. They have a lot of y'all falling prey to becoming a victim. 
not the victim, dictum. Dumb for dick. That is the problem. When you allow your climax to get, could have, have, to, to master common sense, you know, versus on how he makes you feel in the bed. How does he treat you as a woman outside of that bed? Does he make sure you're good? Does he make sure you have what you need? Does he make sure you have gas in the car? Does he make sure it's, it's the little things, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you, you just don't settle for the little things and don't expect him to elevate. But this is what happens. You have a lot of sisters who make bad choices in men. You pick up a bad batch of, of brothers, a bad breed, the bottom of the barrel. Um, you, you, you take what's, what's left off the clearance rack that has no value. You know what I mean? That has no substance. You just take them what you can get. And when you take what you can get, you end up getting just about anything. But these are the women who will sit up here and say, my baby daddy ain't ish, but you chose him. You let this man impregnate you raw. And some of them, they don't even got pregnant more than once from the same deadbeat that felt them the first time. And this is what these women do. What they do is they look for everybody else on the outside to step up and compensate for where that no good baby daddy felt them. They look for their mamas to keep the kids. They look for their grandmamas to keep the kids. They're looking for everybody else to step in and step up and help her out. If you already failed you with one trial, why are you going to have in a second or third? If you already, listen, if a man tells you he have kids and you never see him with his kids, he never discusses his kids, what makes you think that once you have a child, it's going to be different with you? It's these females that's picking up these pookies and these ray rays and they still have not learned. It's, 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 it's the same broke ninja pookie and Ray Ray behavior. And because you, you can tell a whole lot about a woman's maturity, her mindset is what she chooses as a man. If she's a grown woman and she's picking up a pookie and a Ray Ray, that already lets you know her, her level of thinking, her, 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 her lack of intellect. Because it comes to a certain point. As you get older, especially when you have had children, you ought to know better. Your, your, your mindset, your choices should be changing as you get older. You got women in their 30s and 40s still doing the same dumbass stuff they did when they was in their early 20s. They have not grown up. They have not matured. But yet, they baby daddy ain't ish. They're not the problem. They don't think anything is wrong with them. They play these games. They play rush and roulette with their wombs. And then get disgusted. Want to bad mouth all men. Based off of the men they chose. You knew he was a bum. You knew he was married. You knew he had multiple baby mamas. You knew he'd be in and out of the county jail. You know he keep going back to prison. But yet, this is the man you chose to have children from. So I say all that to say this. Don't complain about your baby daddy. You chose him. I'm out. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. I gladly appreciate it. It's your girl, your diva in knowledge. Lady Mocha, representing Mocha's. Cafe Day Paris, and I'll be hollering at y'all all the time. Leave y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about today's content, and I'll be talking with y'all soon. Be blessed. <music>